In this part, we will talk about a dog breed, the Sarplaninac, that is, the Sarplanina Shepherd, otherwise known as the Illyrian Shepherd, or sometimes called the Yugoslav Wolf Killer. The Sarplaninac is a shepherd dog with a long history, which is not known for too many people in the world except who live at the Balkans regions, but almost all of the nations in the northern Balkans area claim this breed as their own and debates about the origin of this excellent dog breed often flare up. So let's take a look at the seven points that a future Sarplaninac buyer should think over carefully before deciding on this breed. As always, the last point will also reveal whether the Sarplaninac is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner. In order not to accidentally miss the next parts of the series and to receive instant notifications about new parts, subscribe to our channel and press the bell button as well. 1. A Brief History of the Sarplaninac The exact origin of the Sarplaninac is unknown, and sinologists say its ancestors may have come to this region along with the population flowing from Asia to the Balkans region. They can be found most densely around the Sarplanina, or Sar Mountains, what is now belongs to Macedonia, where for centuries their task was to guard the livestock and flocks of the population who lives there, and there is no room for farming, lived on animals. They had to guard their livestock against to all wild animals effectively, like wolves, lynx and bears who are all common in that area. However, as history has reversed all sorts of nations through the Balkans, the Sarplaninax also had to stand up effectively against the two-legged opponents and robbers. The breed was first registered by the FCI in 1954, first as Illyrian Shepherd Dogs, and later, the name changed to Yugoslavian Shepherd Dogs. Among others, the Slovenians also consider them to be their own breed, and they call them as the Crossy Shepherd Dogs. 2. The Personality of the Sarplaninac The Sarplaninac is a dog breed with an extraordinary independent and above-average protective instinct and abilities. Their basic qualities include, on the one hand, a very high degree of distrust and distancing towards strangers, and, on the other hand, an unconditional attachment to the owner and his family, which is almost a worship in their case. As the standards say it strictly, the Sarplaninac should be an enraged beast against the attackers and a humble servant to the family. According to the descriptions, they are amazingly effective fighters, persistent and fast, despite their stature, and there are few opponents against them among dogs and smaller predators in a fighting position. 3. The Size and Coat of the Sarplaninac The speciality of the Sarplaninac is that Tay are one of those dog breeds where the standard really only sets the lower values in terms of their height and weight. Males should not be less than 55 cm in height and females should not be less than 54 cm, because in this case they are excluded from breeding. Their weight typically varies between 35 and 70 kilograms, with a recent shift in emphasis to larger specimens. Their characteristic color is metallic gray or dark gray, their coat is medium long, their undercoat is extremely dense and resistant to almost any weather conditions from heavy rains to extreme colds. 4. Trainability of the Sarplaninac As mentioned earlier, Sarplaninac is a remarkably independent breed, which is a trait that many in the canine world of our modern age tend to call stubbornness. Yet this is not the case, as for centuries they have been expected to fully assess the danger of a situation in the absence of their owners, not to wait for orders, but to make a good decision in a given situation and divert the danger effectively. This breed has been selected for this purpose and is excellent in these tasks, like few others. They are also suitable for Western type of guard and protection training, as they were also used by the Yugoslav army and presently used by the Serbian one, but modern dog sports are not for them. 5. The Activity of the Sarplaninac These dogs do not require too much movement, quite similarly to other large shepherd dog breeds, they prefer to explore their area thoroughly and regularly. Regardless of this however, they can cover surprisingly long distances, even in their old age they can run long kilometers next to a bicycle, and in case of emergency, they switch to another mode, they ignite missiles, and are capable of explosive attacks. 6. Health and Lifespan of the Sarplaninac Their average lifespan is 12 to 13 years and, fortunately, due to their past, they are a still mostly healthy breed to this day. As the breeders say, this breed was brought down from the mountains not long ago and is not characterized by too many diseases of civilization. Since it is a breed that consumes almost all foods extremely well and utilize food sources efficiently, 
with surprisingly low food rations compared to their stature, you should be very careful to overfeed them with, in quotes, modern, commercial dog kibbles. They tend to serious bloat when overfed with so-called, factory-made modern foods, so this is highly not recommended and avoidable in their case. 7. And finally the last question. Is the SARP recommended for a novice dog owner? Many Sarplaninac breeders believe that this dog breed is suitable for the first dog owners with no former experiences, because if one does not understand and have experiences with dogs, can learn from this breed what is worth knowing, and if the future owner is experienced, then, he will find what he is looking for. Almost everyone who deals with this breed points out that these dogs, unlike other large-bodied shepherd dogs, like Caucasian shepherds, are not inclined to override the line of orders within the family and will never attempt to take over the pack leadership. Nonetheless, the Sarplaninac is a very strong, large-bodied, self-deciding breed that is distrustful of others and has a high level of protective instincts, so for a novice dog owner it is very important to think over twice that they are the ideal companions for an inexperienced owner. It is true that the owner will certainly never be harmed because of their brilliant character, but whether their environment will survive the encounter with an uncontrolled Sarplaninac is another question. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button to get notifications of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.